All right, we got, uh, we're out here at the desert, me and Jordan here, and uh, he's got his new little toy here. What do they call that thing? The SD, SCD, <laughs> or STD, no. He's got a mine lab, <laughs> the 2300. It almost sound like STD. <laughs> but we buried a little gold there to do a little test, and that hits it. You can hear that. I'm sure you can hear it. Listen. Yeah, I'm sure you can hear that. Um, and that's only on factory setting too. That's factory settings. I haven't even turned it, turned it up. And that's down about three inches, maybe. More than that. Oh, really? Oh yeah, it's down there. Probably about five inches. The nuggets that I already found with it, What we're going to do is to see if the Garrett AT Gold picks it up. Uh, do a comparison to see which detector. Oh, you went a little deep. You still hear it though. I'll let you guys listen. This is where I normally would be at, so I would definitely dig that. When I sweep it, I. One thing about this one, I don't get false signals. Yeah. The ATX, you do that, and it, as you're just hitting, like. Hitting that, you can get false signals. Ah. Uh, Drive your nuts. All right, let's check the, the AT Gold and see if it can get it. It's ground balanced. Factory settings. Sensitivity. Oh, put Sen it at max. Sensitivity at max. I get nothing on the... Nothing on the screen? Nothing. There's a little something there, but it could be something Let's in there. Uh, I get that, all that is, that background sound is just black sand okay. mineralization. Because this is at 81, this is highly mineralized. So if you hit gold, here's what it would sound like. I got a piece, I got my gold ring here. Here's what it should that's what it should sound like. So that's pretty good depth right there. <laughs> for that, for gold rings, because it's got the other metal in it. And then I'll put it on coin mode. So on coin mode, coin mode you don't get, you lose a little depth. Yeah. You're going to prospect, keeping it all metal. So all metal is best for that one. And it obviously doesn't go as deep, but you're not paying as much money for it either. Um, and that was the Garrett AT Gold. Now, now we'll check out this one. Uh, All right. That goes around and cancels out everything. Yeah. It finds the, the best signal frequency. This is the Garrett ATX, and it. Uh, it has a, a, speaker, though. a frequency like scan. That. Yeah, that speaker is loud. And that's not even all the way up on the volume. Wow. <laughs> louder than the other one covered up. <laughs> even with your hand on it. So we're going to go ahead and do the te same test with this one. And that's the Garrett DTS. And remember the other one, we just turned it on and did it. He just got it, he got it right away. This one he has to do settings, warm up. I'm not saying it's a bad detector at all. <laughs> well, I had to still do the same setup on that to... Oh, you did? But it's just it's much faster. Oh, okay. It's getting a little, but... Sensitivity is too high. Uh, It'll quiet down. Is that the sound? Or... Try it on the ring. Uh, that's just interference. Something wrong with it. 
<laughs> Go down on the sensitivity, maybe. Isn't a PI machine if you go down on the sensitivity? Sometimes it actually works better. Yeah, more, the more stable it is, the oh, okay. All right, motion mode, here we go. Non motion mode. Like if they hit the target, I could stop and it'll keep buzzing. Wow, it's not really hitting it though, like the other one. I mean, that, that is a, supposedly a good detector. I mean, well, I got the setting set. <laughs> You're kind of wondering why it's not hitting, huh? <laughs> well, a lot of the tests I see that this does good with that. They got the eight-inch mono loop, the mono coil. Oh, okay. And that's the one that competes with that, because that's a mono coil. Oh, okay. A double D coil. Yeah, the Mine Lab has the mono coil. Now, if you can get the mono coil, you buy it. You spend 500 bucks, you can get the mono coil for it, and then it'll compete. Knock some more dirt off there. See how. But this thing's supposed to be supposed to be better than that for bigger gold. Yeah. Down deeper, but small gold that. Okay. I've seen a lot of videos where they they find these little specks and guy this one uh, bedrock break guy or whatever he's yeah. like a sponsor and he does it all the time comparisons and tell you the yays and nays. Okay, well then um, and that makes sense and this is for like bigger gold, that's for smaller gold. So I would like this one because I really can care less for the little gold. Well, I'll take it. But most of the gold around here is little anyways. Oh, I know uh, around so here. Why. But where I go, yeah, there's the just chance of getting big gold. Yeah. All right, I started digging. Um, there's my dirt. Uh, there's my classifier. And there's where I'm digging. So we'll see if I get anything. Um, oops. I heard the metal detector screaming down here. So, uh, probably a bullet shell or a lead, you know, from a bullet. But just in case, I thought, you know, if I can catch this on camera, that'd be cool. <laughs> well, he's already halfway to China. No, it's not in that one. <laughs> I can just pour it right on it. Right here. Sound like junk to me. Yeah. But it was a faint signal at first. Oh, okay. And then it's got louder and louder and louder the deeper it's gone. I mean, it was just a light little signal. I'll come back and show you guys if you got anything. It's gotta be out now. Well, there. there's a signal there. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how long it lasts. Um, out of the hole, so yeah. Having a little trouble. It's kind of a small signal, so I thought it was bigger than that. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> anyway. Okay, what do we got? Put it in your hand. Uh, okay. Mr. BB. Yeah. Down in there. <laughs> Okay, I tried to do a live dig. <laughs> yeah, what happens in your live dig? Just got another hit. Sounds like junk, but we'll see. Figure I'll turn on the camera while I can. Dang it. <laughs> wow. It's weird your hand doesn't set it off. You PI's the, the salt. Does not affect it. That's one thing about a PI. It's nice. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, lead. Yeah. I've gotten pieces lead of lead. it probably like down about four inches, down five inches that were probably <laughs> half that size. Wow. 
all day yesterday. Whew. Okay, I just ran my first bucket, uh, five buckets through the dry wash over there. And um, this is all the concentrates you get out of a bucket, I mean out of five buckets. Well, it'll be the same no matter how much you run early. But uh, I'm gonna have him scan that, see if there's any nuggets in it. And I've really cleaned up the hole pretty good. Let me show you guys. Yep. So I've dug most of that. This is for me too. I'm t telling myself this. Uh, I know where that dirt came from. Out of there. I dug it out of there. I was trying to get up there. There's like a gravel layer, but it's disappearing. And actually, uh, I ran down uh, into decomposing granite. See how hard that is? It's like a rock. I almost feel like digging through it. I mean, it goes all the way over here. That's hard as a rock. I mean, not hard as a rock, but it's decomposing rock. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I dug that. And then I went ahead and started a little bit right there. There was that white caliche, caliche, whatever. And you kind of smash it up and just run it through. And I noticed when I took this dirt, because that caliche is much lighter, my bucket, when I carried it over, was much lighter. Sorry about the heavy breathing. This is our old tailings pile from the dry wash. Um, I think Ryan was here and did some here. Probably was there, but he might have been over there. I don't know, doesn't matter. What's up, Ryan, by the way? Sorry I couldn't make it this Friday. I had old people stuff going on with my grandma. Doctor appointment. Anyways. Look at him. He's, he's like just zoned into the finding that gold. Yeah, all he's finding is <laughs> trash. But he's found lots of trash, so that's a good sign. That means he's finding something. Small trash. Small trash. Can you believe it? <laughs> well, let's take a look. He's got it. Yep, that little piece was dinging loud. Copper. See, one of these <laughs> wasn't dinging much at all. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, one of those was those two different BBs, I think. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep digging. Get a view. Found a giant hot rock. Where was it? I like hot rocks. Dang, like crazy on this thing. I like meteorites. <laughs> oh, that kind of, yeah. Yeah, just a hot rock. I'll go ahead and break it open, see if there's anything in it. Well, it sounded like a good hit. No, it's not. I mean, until I... All right. Um... I just did my second run. Uh, the dirt I was running was kind of moist. So, as I was digging it, I would lay it in there, let it dry out. And it seemed to do okay. So, we'll hope, hopefully it caught the gold. Um, if you look on the ground here, it's like powder. That's the way the wind blows. And then right under it, you get a little tailings pile, and then what you do is you throw the tailings onto the big pile. And at the end of the day, you detect it. <laughs> but here's what it looks like in the box. I haven't cleaned it out yet. So, um, we'll see if it caught any gold. Or if I was in the right spot. What I did, speaking of spots, is I went ahead and opened up this hole a little more. I took out that section there. I don't know if you can see my arm or not, but 
Um, I took a pretty good chunk out. What I was going for is this layer right in, right in there. There's like rocks, a layer of rocks, and then it's caliche on top, and then obviously the dirt, desert dirt on top of that. So hopefully there was some gold. The problem is when you chip it back, you can only get so much of that rock. I mean, I could try tunneling in, you know, tunnel in and grab it. But, um, whatever, I'm just out here to have a good time today. And hopefully Jordan will find a nugget with that, uh, metal detector. He's already found two out here. So hopefully today he finds another one. I haven't heard anything yet, so here he comes now. Find any junk? <laughs> He's gonna do the hole now. <laughs> Look for leftovers. I wish you would find one in that because uh, that means I got gold. All right, I'll, I'll show you guys the clean out when I get home or might even have some more stuff to show you if, if Jordan does something exciting or whatever. I don't know, I'll tape it. All right, I'm at home now. And um, looks like it's going to be another beautiful day. Ooh, there's a sun coming over the hill there. The grass still has dew on it. Um, but I got two bags of dirt here. Um, concentrates from the from the dry sluice, whatever it is, dry wash. And this one I'll pan first. We scanned them uh, with the metal detector. This one had a little bit of sound out of it, not much, but I believe there's gold in there. This one, not so much. I don't think they're, I'm going to do too good on that one. Um, but we'll see. Um, that's just believing in what the metal detector says. Yeah, because we metal detected both of them. Anyways, I'm going to get to it. I got my little panning station set up here. Um, I'm not going to tape me tape panning because that's kind of boring. I'm already boring enough. <laughs> and we'll see what I get. All right, here's what I got in my first bag. This is for you, Jordan. Just so you know how much gold's coming out of where I was digging. And that, that's the first bag, and I, that's not where I took the chunk out. Bag number two is, I see I marked it while we were there. Um, like six little pieces, very small, just not, I wouldn't dig there. I mean, I would, but just because I know how the gold is there, it's pockets, you just randomly find it. Um, yeah, a little bit of gold though. At least I got gold, I didn't get skunked. <laughs> and I still got that bag to go, and hopefully that'll pay out. All right. I'm done now, and looky there, same amount of gold almost, <laughs> I think I found a, one or two more specks out of that bag, um, not too good, uh, let's strike two for the desert, at least that hole, um, yeah, so, uh, I should be heading back up to the East Fork again real soon. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to meet up with Larry Englehart and Jordan. He was the guy with me in the desert. So um, hopefully we'll do good. I don't know how that day is going to go. It's going to be kind of weird. But uh, we'll see. I'll videotape it. At least most of it, or some of it, I mean, not most of it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, on my blood pressure medication, everybody was asking, uh, you should do this, you should do that. Well, I read on the uh, directions, or whatever, the, the side effects, and it did say it causes dizziness, and I haven't got it since then, so um, that's all good. And uh, my metal detector, still haven't heard anything back from Kellyco yet. Um, I hope they turn it on before they try to fix it. 
because everything works on it. It just says coil not connected. All right. Um, that's it. That's it. That's all my gold. Not too good. I can get more than that in one bucket at the East Fork. <laughs> I did 10 buckets of the desert stuff. Uh, the reason I, I only did 10 is because it was kind of wet. And uh, I had to let it dry out as I was running it. I was kind of going slow, you know, let it dry. I was through the whole process of digging it out and putting it in a barrel and all that, you know. All right, I'm done. Goodbye.